Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about why cosine is called the cosine. And this idea is also the same for cosecant and cotangent, but let me use cosine for illustration. And this is how we are going to do it. First, we are going to start with the right triangle, and let me draw the right triangle this way. Putting the right angle here, and then let me label this angle to be theta. And let me label the sides of the right triangle to be A, B, and C. And first, we are going to talk about what's the cosine theta from this right triangle. Well, by definition of cosine, it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? Here is the angle that we're talking about, theta. So that will make this side to be the adjacent to the theta. So it will be the B, and let me label that right here. B will be the adjacent side to the angle theta. And then the hypotenuse is the longer side, which is the C right here. So let me label that right here for you guys. Hypotenuse. So cosine theta from this right triangle will be B over C. That's it. And then here is the punchline. I'm going to first figure out what this angle is first. Well, we know that the sum of all the angles in the right triangle has to be 180 degrees, right? This is already 90 degrees because this is a right angle. This is theta, so how big is this? Well, let's do a quick example. If this is 20, this has to be what? 70, right? Because 20 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 70 degrees all together that will give us the whole thing, 180 degrees. Another way to do it is, if this is 20, this has to be 90 minus 20 to be 70 degrees. Well, I don't know how big this is. This is just theta, right? So I'm going to label this as 90 degrees minus theta. And this will be an expression for this angle right here. All right. So I'm going to focus on this angle, which I'm making red, right? I'm going to talk about what's the sign of this angle, which is 90 degrees minus theta, okay? And what's the definition of sine in a right triangle? For sine, it's the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? Here is the angle that we're talking about, 90 degrees minus theta. The opposite side is that when you have to go away from this angle, so we're actually right here. This side will be the opposite side with respect to this angle in red. So once again, that's B, but this time, this is the opposite side from this angle. And then the hypotenuse is still the longer side, which is this right here, which is the C value again, right? So let me just label that as the hypotenuse. And we know that sine of 90 degrees minus theta, which is this angle, is the opposite, and that's the B, over the hypotenuse, which is the C. All right, can we see any connection now? I think so, right? Because here we have the cosine theta is equal to B over C. And on the other hand, sine of 90 degrees minus theta is also b over c. Well, that will tell us that these two expressions must be equal to each other, right? Because they are both equals to b over c. So I can write down the statement right here. Cosine theta has to be the same as sine of 90 degrees minus theta. And this, in fact, is one of the identities. And now let's talk about some vocabularies. We know that if we have two angles, they add up to 90 degrees, then they are called the complementary angles. Well, this is angle theta, this is angle 90 degree minus theta. And we know that if we have the angle theta, then 90 degrees minus the angle will be its complementary angle. And you see that right here, cosine theta is equal to sine of the complementary angle, right? And you see, that's a connection. Cosine, it's the sine of its complementary angle. And let me write it down here. The 90 degree minus theta, it's the complementary angle of theta. And therefore, you see the connection? Cosine, it's called the cosine. And it's also the same for cosecant and cotangent. And here are the co-identities that you will see. And if you remember the names, you'll remember these identities much better. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please subscribe and then share this video with other people who also enjoy math. Thank you. That's it.